Hello guys, this is Kritesh from TradeBrains and in this video we are going to discuss how you can create and track your portfolio using Google Sheets. First of all, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. We publish new videos on investing every week. So let's get started. Now creating and tracking your portfolio using Google Sheets is very simple. All you need is a Google account. So let me teach you how you can do it step by step. First of all, go to Google and log in using your gmail id if you haven't already logged in now search google sheets on google now click on the first link and just go to the google sheets now what you want to do is to create a new document let's rename this to stock portfolio Now in order to track a stock, first of all you will need is the symbol of that, that stock. Now it's very easy to find the symbol of any stock. Just go to Google and search that share price. Let's say we want to find the symbol of Ashok Leyland. So search Ashok Leyland share price. Now here this one is the symbol of that company Ashok Lay. Similarly if you want to find the symbol of Tata Motors, let's say Tata Motors share price so here Tata Motors is the name only it's the symbol of the company similarly if you want to find the symbol of Maruti Suzuki so search Maruti Suzuki share price the symbol of Maruti Suzuki is Maruti similarly for Mahindra and Mahindra search Mahindra share price for Mahindra it's M and M now what we can do is we will copy all the symbols in our Google sheet first so for Ashok Leyland it's Ashok Lay similarly for Tata Motors it was Tata Motors for Maruti it is simply Maruti And for Mahindra, it's M and M. Now we have got the symbols of those company. We are going to use simple Google Finance functions to find the share price. It's high, 52 week high, 52 week low. You can find a number of data using the Google Finance, but for tracking the portfolio, we'll only focus on current price 52 week high 52 week low nevertheless i'll also teach you how to find the other attributes also so let's get started so this is the piece of google finance which teaches you everything how to use the google codes and what are different attributes i'll add a link in the description about this page however i'm going to teach you how to use the most important of these now these are the symbols of the company in order to find the name of the company, we can use a very simple Google function. It is, it is right, equal to Google Finance. It will auto complete. Write the name of the company, Ashok Lay. Write a comma and then add name. So it auto completes the name of the company. It's Ashok Lay Land. Let's see, right. Symbol name. Similarly, if you want to find the name of this second symbol, just write is equal to Google Finance. You can simply select the this cell in order to write the cell of the company and write name. Tata Motors Limited. If you find the name of other these two companies, you can simply drag it down. This will copy the same formula for these two rows also. So for Maruti, it's Maruti Suzuki India Limited, and Mahindra, it's Mahindra and Mahindra Limited. Now let's say we want to find the current price. So to find the current price, the formula is is equal to Google Finance, select this row for symbol Ashok Leyland, 
write a comma and write price. Now, 125.25 is the current price of Ashok Lele. Sometimes it's my, it might take little time to find the price depending on your internet speed. But however it, however, it will give the correct result. If you want to find the current price of Tata Motors, you can write is equal to Google Finance, select the symbol, comma, price. In the current price of Tata Motors is 430.35. Now whenever you are finding the price, always just write the symbol. Never select the name of the company because it, the Google will only trace the data when the symbol is given. So for Maruti, select the symbol of Maruti and write price, enter. Similarly, you can use this drag and down and use the same formula for Mahindra and Mahindra. Now if you want to find the 52 week high You can go on this google sheet and you can see that the attribute for 52 week high is high 52 So you can write here simply is equal to google finance Select the symbol comma high 52 Okay, I for uh, I wrote the wrong formula. High fifty two. And then drag to find the high fifty two of all the companies. Here fifty two week high for a so lens is one thirty three point nine rupees. Similarly for fifty two week low. You can see that for the low the formula is low 52 this is the attribute so simply write is equal to Google Finance select the symbol comma low 52 this will give you the 52 week low for this company drag it down and this will give you the 52 week low of all the companies so in this way you can track the current price of all the companies 52 week high 52 week low now how can you use these data to create your create and track your own portfolio now for simplicity i have assembled the name of few companies hdfc tata motors marico asok leland titan now these are the symbols of the 11 companies and their buying price this is the price at which i bought this shares i didn't bought that this is the just a virtual portfolio and this is the quantity of these shares now if you want to track let's say you bought these stocks three four months before and now you want to track the your portfolio so what you can do is first let me add a row here first you want to add the name of the company because these are the just a symbol so you can write here come name and to find the name you already know the formula it's google finance select the row select the cell comma name so it's sdfc bank limited now this is the purchase price and this is the quantity if you want to find the total investment You have to multiply the buying price into the number of quantities. So equal to 1400 into the number of quantity. So if you bought 10 stocks for 1400 each, then your total investment will be 14,000 rupees. Now, now you'll find the current price of those, that stock. That is current price for SDFC. So the formula for finding the current price is equal to Google Finance, select the symbol of the company, comma, price. So currently DFC Bank is trading at a price of 1863 and you bought the price and you bought the shares at rupees 1400. Whoa, you are in profit.
now if you want to find the your current market value you have to multiply your current price into the quantity so the quantity the current quantity of one stock is 1863 and you have 10 quantities of that stock so your total current market value will be one stock into number of stocks so your total investment was rupees 14000 and your current market value is 18630.5 rupees now you can find how much is the change let's say this is in rupees so the change will be equal to your current market value minus your investment amount so you have a profit of rupees 4630 now let's find how much was the change in percent find the change in percent you can write a simple formula change divided by uh, change divided by investment amount in into 100 so you have a profit of rupees so you have a profit of 33 percent and now let's say if you also want to track the dividend you have to manually fill the dividend amount here let's say you got a dividend of 350 rupees during this period so just write dividend now you do not write to all this formula in all the rows you can simply select these columns and drag it down so here you can see that you have a loss in Tata Motors and in the Stan Petroleum so you cannot see the name of the company let me drag it down here also so you have a loss in Hindustan Petroleum and Tata Motors uh, let me do one more thing give it a color and Now these are these are the stocks in your portfolio and if you want to know how what's your overall how your overall portfolio is doing just add your, your total investment you can write a simple formula is equal to sum and select all these investment amount so your total investment rupees was rupees 1 lakh 42620 and your total market value will be sum of all these stocks so you can write a formula is equal to sum select all these stocks now if you want to find the change how much was the change just 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 subtract the market value from the investment amount so you have a profit of 27,814 now if you want to find how much is change in the percentage just divide the change by investment amount so you have an overall profit of 19.50 just give me a second I'll turn it into round figure so you have an overall profit of 19.50 Similarly, if you want to track the dividends in your portfolio, let's say you have some 450 uh, sorry, 450 uh, 34 uh, here. I'm just writing some the dummy data. So you can similarly track your how much dividend you got also here. Just write some and add all these dividends. Now if you are not involved in future and options or intraday and you are not doing frequent tradings then you can easily track all your portfolios using this simple google sheet. Now if you want to know how much of your stocks are in red that is in positive and how much in green you can simply select these rows and go to format conditional formatting. So this will provide a condition like if the stocks are if the change is greater than zero make it green color and if this if the stocks are less than zero and if the change is less than zero then make it red color so just select if it's greater than zero make it green and add another rule if it's less than zero make it red 
now you can easily notice that your entire portfolio is in green and two of your stocks Tata Motors and Hindustan Petroleum is in red now this is a very simple portfolio and that can be used by retail investors you do not have to create a portfolio in apps or websites just write this will provide you privacy and security further this is a real time portfolio this means that if during the trading hours all these current prices will keep on changing right now it is currently 9 o'clock in the evening that's why it's not changing but in the daytime when the market is uh, when the market is running all these prices will change so you can track the real time performance of your stocks and if you want to add different columns you can add other columns also in this portfolio let's say if you want to know 52 week high you can add that row also or 52 week low if you want to track those also so just apply the simple formula is equal to google finance Select the company, comma, I-52, enter, and for the same you can apply is equal to Google Finance, select the symbol, comma, low 52, enter, and then just simply drag it down to use all the formulas in the same row. Similarly you, similarly, you can use a number of attributes to create your portfolio accordingly. Just you can use this Google page to know different kind of attributes that you want to use. Overall, play around and I'll add a link to this portfolio. You can simply change the name of the stocks and, and create your own portfolio. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you have any doubts, please comment below in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel. That's all, this is Kritish signing off.